Welcome here. My name is Sarah Therese. On my old channel, <laughs> I used to do minimalism videos all the time. I found them to be very enjoyable and fun and it was an easy way for me to like share my life and also just like tips because I feel like the reason we feel like our worlds are falling in on us, I mean, there's a lot of reasons why we may feel like that. But I think a lot of it has to do with the home and what our home is doing and yielding. And I think a lot of that comes down to what we own, how we organize, what our homes look like on a daily basis, come, come, come. How easy or hard our homes are uh, to take care of. So I want to take you guys through uh, a little bit of my day and share with you some of the minimalism things that I do. We're gonna go through pretty much the whole house and I'll share with you what I do. I'm a mom of five. We actually used to live in a mobile when there was just three kids, but that really taught me how to live more minimal because we had three kids plus me and my husband in a space of like 700 and something square feet, one bedroom. So it was pretty wild. <laughs> I have to make my kids some lunch. I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna go wander around my house. Mm -hmm. yeah. super thrilled to be working with Armra Colostrum today and since the beginning of summer I have been enjoying them. Armra Colostrum has not only upped my wellness routine but it has also transformed my health in a very effective and noticeable way. Since taking Armra Colostrum I've noticed an increase of energy, more regular bathroom breaks, happier skin, happier gut. Overall we're doing really well. So yes, there's many benefits to taking Armour Colostrum. My favorite one is just what it does for my gut. My gut is finicky, we all know that. So by taking Armour Colostrum every single day, I'm supporting my gut wall system, and that in turn improves my digestion and supports a happier microbiome. It is physician founded, and it is the only colostrum you'll be able to find on the market with dual arm third party clinical trial research. If you didn't know, colostrum is a dairy bioactive whole food. It's the first nutrition that we experience, and it has all the nutrients our bodies need just right off the bat. This is a premium bion colostrum concentrate. It supports over 400 bioactive nutrients in their purest, most bioavailable form. That includes a host of peptide, antibodies, whole food prebiotics, and antioxidants for optimal health. I take four servings in a day. It's a whole food, you can take it all in one go. Sometimes I put it directly in my mouth and swallow, and other times I mix it with a cold liquid. I choose Armour Colostrum because they hold tight 
height to a calf first commitment, only collecting the excess colostrum after the calves are fed. Armour colostrum is made in the USA and it comes from grass fed cows. I'm super excited because we have secured a special deal for you. Get 15% off your order from Armour Colostrum with my code Sarah Therese. That info and the link is both in the description box. So go to tryarmra.com forward slash Sarah Therese where you can shop their products and get 15% off. Link is down below. Thank you Armra for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Mammalism is very personal. It's very much just based on one's own experience. So there are some minimalists that are, <laughs> compared to me, um, are on just a completely different scale. But I also think it's bad to view minimalism on a scale because no one is doing it right or wrong because we all live very different lives. And especially when you have five kids, you're gonna live it very different than if you were single or um, a couple with no kids. For us, the pursuit of minimalism is not for us to particularly own less stuff, but to simplify almost all the areas, if not all the areas in our life. And that really does start in the home with the things that we own. So maybe it is kind of owning less stuff, but it's a different bit of a mindset, you could say. I thought we could begin here with laundry. Um, if you are not new here, you know this and you're gonna be tired of me saying it. With a family of seven, laundry can pile up if you're not careful. And a huge part of minimalism is staying on top of things. That's what I've noticed, that's what I've experienced. And so in order for us to ensure that this area of our lives does not get so overwhelming, we simplify it by doing one load of laundry every single day. If you're wanting a bit of a time idea, at the end of the day, I will do a full load of usually colors. Once a week, I'll do whites. The things that go into the laundry is pretty much a round of jammies and a round of day clothes and all of our like hand towels and stuff from the kitchen. Those go in the wash. I wash them, put them in the dryer. They go through a dry cycle. And then next day, I'll put them through a de-wrinkle and then tackle them. And by doing this, it means that I don't have huge laundry hampers in our bedrooms. But what we do have is two small bins in our linen closet, and those serve as our laundry hampers. And a main reason I chase minimalism is because I easily get overwhelmed and overstimulated by stuff. So if I can minimize and simplify certain areas of my life, I do. And I notice I thrive and my kids thrive as well. One of my kids is napping and it's right by the linen closet, but I'll do a little bit of B-roll so you can have an idea, but our linen closet houses all of our linens, all of our towels, all of our beach towels, um, all of our bedding and detergents and extras, things like that, steamer, iron, and then our two bins at the bottom for dirty laundry. Some people are like, oh, that's so weird that you store your dirty laundry with your regular laundry, but there is quite a bit of separation and they never actually cross paths. This is quite simple, but as you can see, there's no decor pillows on our bed. I find that um, the, th the only things that should be on my bed are the things I sleep with. And that brings me the most joy. I'm not a throw pillow person. If I'm going to bed at night, I just want to climb in. I want to start pulling things off or whatever. So no throw pillows, really, really simple, minimal bedding. And then zooming in, you can see, Nothing. We don't use side tables for decor purposes. We use them for when we're reading in the evening and we need somewhere to put our Bibles, our books, our tea. We're definitely drink tea in bed kind of people. I do have a diffuser because I use it and I love her. But simplifying our bedding and just like our bedroom in general makes us wake up and then we're actually more able to get this kind of place prepared. I always find when the bedroom is clean and ready to go, if I get nothing done through the rest of my day, I know the bedroom's done. And for some reason that makes me feel extremely productive. Okay, well, welcome to the kitchen. This is my favorite place in the home. I take pride. <laughs> And not having clutter or little knickknacks of things on my counters and the reason why is because I use my counters I will have various types of bread going or I'm pickling or canning and I just need space actually what I was going to do <laughs> I was like for real going through a bunch of our <laughs> Christmas stuff and I have this basket in my Christmas bin I've had this since like me and Kieran got married and it's very cute I was going to put all of our homemade bread in it and it's just a little bit 
nicer, it's free because I already had it, and it's easier for the kids to grab and pull what they need. Whatever I keep on the counter, I either uh, use it often or I need it to be more available for the kids to grab. So that's why bananas chill down here and they're not up on the produce shelf. So I got bread down here, it's not up in a shelf. Cooking utensils, obviously, that's very convenient. The chopping board stays out here. This is our only chopping board. This is actually my childhood chopping board, so it stays out here. Again, convenient, but everything has a purpose. And if it doesn't have a purpose, it needs to either get out or go elsewhere where it can have purpose. I should make myself a cup of coffee. I do think a huge part of minimalism is just no waste. And to be honest, that really starts with food. I know everything in my fridge as if it were an old friend. I know what's in here. I know what I'm buying. I know what needs to be used up. And it is also organized. If my fridge is in order, then all the other things that have to do with food will most likely also be in order. Uh, if I know what's in here, I know what I can bring out of it. And this just gives me a little bit of peace of mind too, especially when I'm at the grocery store. I know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and what I still have in here. This is so good. Our dining room also serves as our craft room and our homeschool room, and it's breakfast and lunch. This, if this table could talk, it would have some things to say. As you can see, besides my kids' cups, in between activities, this table is clear, so we can actually do said activities, such as crafts, homeschool, whatever. We don't do decor through here. Uh, we don't do any decor on surfaces, uh, especially in the dining room. I got small kids as young as two, all the way up to almost nine, and it's easier if I just don't have anything. Something I might move around is a candle, and that's still something I have to be aware of, where it is, who's around. But I have so many people that come in and go, if you just put a runner, if you just put a basket of this, if you just did, and I just can't, because I need to keep this place clean, and very user friendly for small kids. And the easiest way I can do that is by not having a ton of stuff in it. I like the look of stuff, I do. I know that sounds crazy, but I do like the look of stuff. And I like the look of stuff on my wall. This I thrifted for like 10, $20. Amazing, right? It's just a print of Claude Monet. And this gives life to the space. Just a simple picture on the wall, out of the way. I don't have to clean it. It doesn't get in the way. I love stuff that just chills on the wall. We are back upstairs because I feel like um, I totally missed one of the most minimal areas in my life, which is my wardrobe. It's all in there. You can kind of see it, not really. It's so dark today, so bear with me. These are Kieran's clothes, way in the back. Someone zoom in on this. Kieran's clothes on this side is my clothes. I think I'm just like a lot of other people in their teenage years. I used to have so many clothes, so many. And I would wear something maybe like once or twice and I just loved the idea that I had it. And then I grew out of that because I became a mom. My body was changing through pregnancy and postpartum and I realized I had to get this show together. This was something that I'm living in my entire life. I need to understand what I'm doing with my clothes, my wardrobe, and, um, and it needs to be affordable because this economy is crazy. I would rather have, which is what I have, three really good pairs of jeans. They all have a little bit something different to them. Some are more high rise, some go, not lower, <laughs> not lower. Some are a little bit lower. And some are more flare, some are more tapered. But I'd rather have three phenomenal jeans than 20 pairs of jeans that are okay. By having a smaller wardrobe, I'm simplifying getting dressed in the morning because I do have a smaller wardrobe. What does that mean? It's just above a capsule. So some people say a capsule is like 30 to 40 pieces. I think I'm riding on like 43, but that's in total for summer, winter, fall, spring clothing. You also save money. You forget about trends and you can dress simply and quickly every single morning. It takes me a minute, not even to throw something on and call it a day. Minimalism does not mean you do not exist or have to act as if you do not. It's not about having a perfect home, because check it, 
not a perfect home, we still live and exist here. But by living more simply, we're able to clean up easier. We're able to play better. And yes, my kids have a small collection of toys. They don't have anything crazy. There's no wondering where things go or why even things are there. Everything has a purpose. Everything has a place. Lincoln Logs go in this. And the only toys in the living room, and yes, you know what? Your living room can have toys. That's totally fine. You have kids, you can have toys in the living room. <laughs> These three bins house fort stuff, love every toys, and magnet tiles. Any extra things such as things like this will go in these shelves. And that's all the toys that are in the living room. We have a Lego bin downstairs, as well as a dress-up bin. A few toys in the kids' rooms, but that's pretty much it. I'm a homeschool mom and I have to have books. You'll notice that we have a plethora of books and we are not minimalist with books by any means. I need some sort of a library. I need something that the kids can reference, can read. The kids are also reading a ton of books in their school. So books, I can't be minimal here. And that's fine because the purpose of being minimal is not owning less stuff again. It is a desire for order and use and my kids I mean, they read these books constantly. We have these books for the kids. Upper books are more for me and Kieran. And then uh, they have a bunch of books as well in their bedrooms because they get to read before bed. Something I really struggled with at the beginning of trying to be more minimal was thinking that everything had to be neutral and white and clean looking. And then I realized over time, that's not me. I love personality through a home and I can do that through artwork, lots of plants. I really enjoy having plants. And because I'm a homeschool mom, there has to be elements in our home that's very uh, lively and creative and artsy. I wanna pull that um, from my home and into my little kids' hearts. And then our walls are kind of a peachy pink color. It's a very happy color. It's very fun, it's interesting. So minimalism does not limit you to being a white blank slate that you will never fill. It's simplifying your space so your space is working for you and not against you. Okay, I have one more thing I wanna show you guys. Well, maybe two. Actually, I have a million more things so I can do another video, but we'll see. This is the best picture in our home. It's the girl with the pearl earring and she's covering her nose because it's stinky in here. Uh, this is our bathroom. This is as far as any decor in our bathroom goes. I'll kind of show you this area, the sink and whatever, but this lady, she's just here She's here for fun. This is a faux plant. This is my grace plant. We don't water him. This is awesome. This is a mirror I can see the back of my head. It holds all our clips and uh, it's nice to have a handy secondary mirror for when I'm running out of the house. These things don't have to be clean though. These things just sit. Let me show you what the vanity in this area looks like. We have our mirror and look, just soap. Just soap. No, nothing here. Just soap. And if you like decorating, that's cool, because so do I. But I, it has to make sense. And if I were to put anything up here, no bueno. Above our toilet, it holds our stink spray, our toilet paper, and extra towels. Again, no decorations. It's kind of decoration all in of itself. The floor is nice and clean, sans a garbage can. But this space is just meant to be a bathroom. We can have a little bit of fun, don't get me wrong, but it's really just supposed to function as a bathroom, nothing else. Let's go, let's go cut some bread. Oh, no, she still has. No cutting her. We'll shape her. Thank you for being here and watching today's video. I feel like I haven't really done too much minimalism stuff on this channel, but if you wanna see a more detailed minimalism kitchen tour, I go into all the cabinets in my entire kitchen and I lay it out for you and tell you guys like why I do it and how I do it and such. So that'll be linked down below. If you wanna see more minimalism videos, let me know because it's still a huge part of my heart and soul. I've just been out of it for a little bit, but maybe I'll hop back into it. Thank you for being here and joining me for today's video. I got some sourdough hot dog buns to finish up. I'll see you guys later. Bye.